Hello and welcome to this review of a parcel of land located on the periphery of the Ocala National Forest. This overall region is notably bisected by the St. John's River and is dotted with many lakes, thought to be remnants of glaciation and an ice age dating back some 10,000 years. The presence of these lakes and the rolling hills throughout the region reinforce that geologic theory. The property in question, located at 113 Lemon Street, is on top of one of the hills carved into the land from the moving glaciers of days gone by. While located several miles from the historic waterways, access to this rural enclave is nonetheless restricted by the long distances that must be traversed to get around the said waterways. The estimated height above sea level for this land is 220 feet. Some good news here is that the north-south running road, Pineapple Street, is paved. This allows you to travel on paved roads right up to the corner of Pineapple and Lemon at which point Lemon Street, a single lane, unpaved, ungraded road surface fought with sugar sand, becomes the only passage. We will now travel west on Lemon Street and approach the land. We have arrived at the property as verified after repeatedly checking our GPS. This is a shot looking west towards the intersection of Lemon Street and Mango Street. Mango Street is estimated to be about 10 feet lower in elevation above this prospective property, which is high, dry, and well vegetated. We will now enter the property from the north and transverse the land. We encounter some evidence of human intrusion, although it looks years old. An old mirror mounted on a tree, discarded water jugs, a coffee container sitting on a tree stump. The tree appears to have been cut down with a chainsaw some years back. We move deeper into the property to approach the southern aspect. As you can see from the satellite view, there are no immediate neighbors to this property on the north, south, or west. But there are neighbors whose houses we passed during our drive-in. The neighbor immediately to the east has a fairly new upscale trailer home, but the yard is littered with old cars, boats, and other clutter. 
The neighbor, next further to the east, also has a relatively new trailer home in good repair. For the most part, the other neighbors are set back off the road and their homes cannot be seen from the street. All in all, if purchased at the right price, this property will offer the buyer the ability to establish a real isolated residence. Given the tricky nature of navigating the local terrain, this property is 30 or 40 miles away from any well-known store chains. That concludes this report.